वेलकम बैक टू एम एल टी वर्ल्ड टूडे फ्रेंड द टॉपिक आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस विद ऑल ऑफ यू दैट इज बिलोरबिन मेटाबोलिज्म बिलोरबिन मेटाबोलिज्म इज़ वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक इन बायो केमिस्ट्री सब्जेक्ट एंड आई विल ट्राई टू एक्सप्लेन दिस बिलोरबिन मेटाबोलिज्म इन अजी वे सो दैट यू विल ऑलवेज रिमेंबर लेट स्टार्ट बिलोरबिन मेटाबोलिज्म स्टार्ट विद रेड ब्लड सेल्स वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट सेल इन आवर बॉडी एंड रेड ब्लड सेल्स हैव अप्रॉक्सीमेटली लाइफ स्पैन ऑफ वन ट्वेंटी डेज एंड आफ्टर वन ट्वेंटी डेज दे विल बी डिस्ट्रॉयड इन द ऑर्गन्स लाइक लिवर एंड द सप्लेन विच कंटेन न्यूमरियस माइक्रोफेज सो माइक्रोफेज विल डिस्ट्रॉय द रेड ब्लड सेल्स इन लिवर एंड सप्लेन वेन they will destroy then hemoglobin will be released hemoglobin as we know that is present in the red blood cells hemoglobin then it will divide into heme part and the globin part and globin is further it will convert into the amino acids and that amino acid will be utilized by the body so now heme part is the important part that is involved in the bilirubin metabolism that is our topic also heme component it will be convert into two things one is iron and the other is biliverdin and when it will convert into biliverdin this reaction will be catalyzed by the enzyme that is called as heme oxygenase so with the help of each heme oxygenase enzyme heme will convert into biliverdin and then biliverdin again it will convert into the bilirubin that is yellow compound we will also call and this reaction will be catalyzed by bilirubin reductase here the important point is this bilirubin is unconjugated bilirubin unconjugated bilirubin is not water soluble so it needs something to enter into the liver so with the help of albumin it will enter into the liver as i told that until now bilirubin is unconjugated bilirubin but this unconjugated bilirubin it will combine with albumin and then it will enter into the liver so now we can say that from this point when bilirubin formed from this point metabolism started so now unconjugated bilirubin when enter into the liver with the help of albumin it will combine with the compound that is called as glucuronic acid and now it will convert into the conjugated bilirubin and this conjugated bilirubin again the important point this unconjugated sorry this conjugated bilirubin is water soluble form of bilirubin and that reaction and how it came it came with the combination of glucuronic acid and then it will transport into the bil biliary channel into the duodenum and then through the duodenum it reach to the colon and then from colon it will reach it reach into the colon and then in colon the bilirubin is acted upon by number of microorganisms and it will convert into two things it will convert into urobilinogen and then it will convert into stercobilinogen and majority of these components stuck and majority of these components are excreted in the into the feces in the form of stercobilin these both urobilinogen and stercobilin both of these most of the compound will be excreted in the form to the feces in the form of stercobilin that's why it will give yellow color to the feces but 10 to 15% of compounds are reabsorbed into the blood and some of that part or some percentage we can say that it will reach into the liver and this uh, circulation we will called as antero hepa antero hepatic circulation and rest remaining or rest of the compound will re or rest of the percentage will reach to the kidney and they are excreted in the uh, kidney in the form of urobilin so this is how bilirubin metabolism 
take place or this we can say that this is the cycle how bilirubin metabolism happened so i hope you understand the concept of bilirubin metabolism if there is any question related to this please do write in comment thank you so much